A big namaste from me. Hi everyone. Hope you're having a gorgeous day. We're going to do a couple of hip warming. I know we have done this previously in another video, but this time we are doing it specifically for putting the foot behind the head. Yes, you heard it. Uh, we're going to do a little extreme. So we're hoping you have already stretched out a little bit. You have warmed up, but we are focusing on the hips. So we're going to sit down like this in uh, bound angle pose. Bring your hands to your feet like this and we're going to bop the knees up and down. So now in this one, the closer your feet are to your perineum, the better. So if there is still some scope for it to be closer, you can even lift up a little bit and make your body closer to your feet. So feel free to pause the video and um, do it for longer. But we're going to move on now. So what we're going to do is to cradle this like this and keep it here for a couple of deep breaths. Let us rock the baby. release that and let us do the same thing on this side so place the right one down and I'm lifting up the left so interrupt it hanging like this we're going to try and lift it up and keep this parallel with that of the mat and let us move left and right Warming up the hips. And let us not forget the Malasana, the garland pose. So we're going to squat like this and bring the hands to the heart and push out the knees as much as possible. Okay, release. Now, this is a specific reason why I'm sitting here. I'm going to use the couch, or if you want, you can use the wall, whatever you have for some support. So we're going to place our bodies as much as possible. So your bottom's at the spot where the wall meets the floor. In my case, it is a couch. So I'm going to lie down like this, and I'm going to keep my feet out apart. There is no need for the hand, so I'm going to keep that spread out against the mat and try and open the hips so the lower the knees come the deeper your hips are engaging so if you want you can put a little bit of pressure and push the wall away from your body Okay, so now we're going to move on. So what we're going to do now is to place the leg, both the legs straight. Um, what we're going to do is to put the right leg behind the head, but for that we need a little more warming up. So we're going to do the compass pose first. And mind you, this is one posture, the Ekapada Shirshasana, which is the foot behind the head pose. You have to do the right side for the left one. So just a couple of yogic postures are there which in which this rule applies and this is one of those. So here getting into compass which means uh, holding your right foot with your left palm. We're going to bring the right arm under the right uh, knee. Press that down and if this is where you are that is perfectly fine and we're going to work on straightening out that knee and also work on straightening out that elbow so that everything is stretched and straight and we will look in the opposite direction of the stretched out leg compass okay. 
So once you get comfortable doing the compass, then you can work on bringing that foot behind the head. And uh, this is going to be a very gradual process. So patience is of a sense. So slowly, like bringing that foot behind your head. I mean, it took me a lot of time, many months to get this done. So once that is done, you bring your hands to your heart. You keep the back as straight as possible. There will be a little bit of rounding of the spine and that is normal. And once you're in this pose, you can work on folding forward. Or even Chakurasana, which is the partridge pose, which means pressing down and lifting that leg up. So that becomes an arm balance as well. So pressing and lift. Now, they must repeat the same thing on the other side. So keep both your legs out straight and bring your left arm under your left knee let us do the compass use your right palm on your left foot and then we will stretch that out deep breathing there and then when you're ready that's when you bring that foot behind your head and engage folding forward variation arm balance chakurasana partridge pose and back down Hope this was helpful and please do take it easy this is a pose which takes time um, so all the best for that and I hope uh, I see you again bye